Hey guys, I'm going to do a couple of examples on multi-step synthesis. Uh, first of all, we're going to start off with um, trying to uh, create isopropyl benzene from uh, benzene. Okay, this one's a, whoa, just a starter, pretty simple, straightforward. And uh, hopefully I can start to show you guys what you need to do as far as placement of your uh, molecules and your reagents and all. Okay, for this one, we need to add an isopropyl group. All right, so it kind of looks weird, like how do you put that on there? Well, if you kind of write it down in chemical formula here, you'll see that this is all you're working with. And that you just react it with AlCl3 and it will give you exactly what you're looking for. There you are. Now, um, in the next in the upcoming examples, we're going to have to deal with um, more stuff about like, oh, is this an ortho or a para or a meta director? Um, we'll get to that. It's not as hard as you think, and um, uh, we'll, I'll explain it as thoroughly as I possibly can. Okay, in this example, um, we have to turn we have to turn benzene into um, O butyl chlorobenzene. Okay, now the O stands for ortho, and I guess I should define what those positions are real quick for you guys. Alright, so when you're looking on the ring here, having some having two um, substituents like this would be ortho. And then having two substituents like this, I'm just gonna draw a circle, would be para. And then having, oh dear, my hexagons are horrible. Sorry. Having two substituents like this would be meta. All right. And whenever you are naming compounds, you start you, you start with the first letter of each of these. With the, at the very beginning. Okay, so it wants us to put uh, a butyl group and a chlorine group right next to each other. Okay, now we have to take into consideration what each of these groups will do. And um, there, there are sheets and um, let's see. My, I have a, I have a physical sheet that shows me like which ones are para directing and uh, ortho directing uh, any hydrocarbon group is going to be ortho para directing um, any halogen is going to be ortho para directing but um, ring deactivating so the benzene ring will deactivate or become less act or uh, less reactive with whenever you add a halogen so generally whenever you add a halogen you want to put it on as late as you can because it's going to sufficiently um, knock down the reactivity of your benzene ring. Now, um, with hydrocarbons, they ortho paradirect, but they also activate. So um, it's always start to smart out, start out, smart to start out with those, because um, I mean, even in this event, we can see well we need an ortho position. And now, when you're drawing these out, you don't have to draw both the uh, ortho and para. Uh, isomers because uh, whenever you're doing this reaction in the lab you, there are ways that you can actually filter it out so for our purposes we're just going to leave it leave that be okay so we'll add this on here and now we did ah okay and um the uh, reagents that I'm putting in on these, it can be found in your chemistry book. Um, I can give you a list if you want one. Just uh, just message me and I'll send you a link, or I might put a link on the description. But uh, yeah, so when you do this reaction, all right. Now, as I said, this is an ortho um, hydrocarbons are ortho para directing, so it's going to direct this to the ortho. Thanks, guys.